In this activity, you will think about the different ways in which to approach and solve a problem. Click the start button to proceed. Here is a problem. You have an empty bottle with a little coin inside and a cork covering the mouth of the bottle. How would you remove the coin from the bottle without taking out the cork or breaking the bottle? Think about the different ways in which you can take the coin out of the bottle. Note down all your ideas on a paper. In case you are out of ideas and need a clue, click the hint buttons. Once you are done ideating, click on the answer button to know the best solution. The cork fits comfortably in the bottle's neck and could be pulled out or pushed down. Both the cork and the coin can fit together inside the bottle. Both the cork and the coin can fit together inside the bottle. You can push the cork into the bottle, turn the bottle upside down, and catch the coin in your hand. This way, neither are you breaking the bottle nor are you taking the cork out of the bottle. Identify the do's and don'ts, while applying critical thinking in any situation. Drag and drop each statement, in the appropriate section. That's right, to make an effective decision in any situation it is important to be logical, this means whatever conclusion you draw should be based on all the available information and taking into account the different perspectives. This will That's right. It is not okay to make decisions in a haste without considering the different perspectives, only to avoid conflict. This may lead to other complications at a later stage. That's right. It is not okay to form opinions based on assumptions. Always be flexible and consider the different points of view before taking a decision. If you feel like you have understood something incorrectly, be flexible and humble enough to change your opinion or accept that you may have been wrong. Good job. Always base important decisions on the facts and evidence that is presented. Remember that it is also your responsibility to check the validity, accuracy and relevance of the evidence that is presented. If for any reason the evidence presented is not accurate, it may lead to poor and ineffective decisions. That's right. While solving problems and taking decisions it is important to be considerate and empathetic towards the emotions, sentiments and beliefs of the older people who are involved. This will help you tackle the situation calmly, and have a positive outcome. That's right. Always be flexible and consider different points of view before taking a decision. Be open to different perspectives and think about how best you can consider the suggestions and address the concerns of the people involved. Please click on continue, to proceed. Tina works at the ticketing counter for an airlines. There is a long queue of passengers, who need to either buy or change their respective bookings. While dealing with a particular customer, there is a system failure, and she is not able to process the payment through his credit card. This is prolonging the process and delaying everyone else as well. Unsure of what to do, she starts panicking. The passengers get very annoyed with Tina. Were the customers right in feeling frustrated at Tina's inability to solve the problem? Select the correct option, and click Submit. No, they should have been more understanding, and realized it was beyond her control. Yes, they needed a service, and her being at the counter meant that it was her job to provide it. That's right. It was Tina's responsibility to find a solution to the customer's problems. Perhaps had she not panicked, and remained calm things would not have gone out of hand. She should have explained to the customers the issue at hand, and assured them that it will be resolved soon. Reassuring the customer would have helped them stay calm and not get frustrated with Tina. It is important to stay calm and communicate clearly in any situation to avoid confusion.
Here, is an opportunity, to apply critical thinking skills, to solve the problem in the given situations. Select a game mode. Help Sunny. Ray, Sid, and Sunny are good friends. Ray and Sid plan to go for a movie, but the plan fails at the last moment. Ray and Sid get into an argument, which turns into a big fight. When they are not able to resolve the issue on their own, they decide to ask Sunny to help them solve the problem. Sunny, you have to solve our problem. Yes, Sunny. We need your help. What should be Sunny's response? Help Sunny, decide the best way, to respond in the given situation. Select the correct option, and click Submit. I can do nothing to help you. I need to hear both sides of the story, to understand the problem. I think both of you should ask, someone else for help. Click each audio icon, to listen to Sunny's response again. Good job. Sunny was able to respond back appropriately, in the given situation. It is always advisable, to understand the problem from all viewpoints. This helps in finding the most effective solution, for the problem at hand. Ray and Sid, describe the incident to Sonny. Sonny, you can't rely on Sid. We had made a plan for a movie, but he didn't show up. He had the tickets and didn't even bother to inform me. I really think that it's very irresponsible of Sid. I wish I had not made plans with him. Okay, I agree that I forgot to inform Ray. But, what's the big deal? It's just a movie. Sid, it is not just about missing the movie but also about the money that was spent in buying the tickets. Since I gave you the money to buy my ticket, please return the money. Why? I missed the movie too. Why should I return the money? What do you think Sonny? Who's at fault? Sonny needs to find a logical way to solve the fight between Ray and Sid. Help Sonny, identify the most appropriate solution, by analyzing the given information, and facts. Select the correct option, and click Submit. Both Ray and Sid, should sort out the differences on their own. Sid should return the ticket money, to Ray. Ray should forget about the entire incident. Click the audio icons, to listen to the options again. It is only fair if Sid returns the ticket money to Ray. Good job. Sunny has successfully identified the most appropriate solution by analyzing the given information and facts. It's important to first identify the problem, gather all the related facts and information, and then analyze them from all angles to arrive at a solution. Okay, so I have heard both of you and I have made a decision. Sid, I think you should return the ticket money to Ray. He missed the movie because of you. If he knew that you weren't be able to come, he could have taken his ticket from you and watched the movie. I understand, Sonny. I think I acted in an immature way. I am sorry Ray for all the trouble. I will return the money to you. Thank you, Sid. I am glad that you have realized your mistake. It's alright, please don't feel bad about it. We all make mistakes. Most appropriate solution. Sid should return the ticket money to Ray. Now. Help Sunny, evaluate whether the result of the analysis will solve the problem effectively, or not. Select the correct option, and click Submit. It will ensure that Ray gets back his ticket money. It will ensure that, Sid buys only his own ticket, next time. It will ensure that, Ray never relies on Sid, in future. Click the audio icons, to listen to the options again. I don't feel bad about missing the movie anymore. Now I can book another movie ticket with the returned money. Good job. Sonny has successfully evaluated the result of the analysis to solve the problem effectively. It's important to keep an open mind and analyze the situation from different perspectives. Additionally, it is necessary to keep aside your personal biases and avoid hasty judgments to arrive at an effective solution. 
By thinking critically and asking the right questions, you can ensure that the final decisions. I hope both of you are feeling happy now. I think we made the right decision to solve the problem in this situation. Yes, I think so too. And I am happy that Sid has understood that he should have informed me about the change in our plan. Yes, indeed. I am sorry, I was not behaving responsibly earlier. Ray, I will definitely return the ticket money tomorrow. Sure, Sid. That's absolutely fine. No problem at all. Thank you. Thank you Sonny for helping us solve the problem. You are most welcome. Sonny has evaluated the results of the analysis, to solve the problem effectively. Now, identify the corrective measure that, Sonny must suggest to avoid similar problems in future. Select the correct option, and click Submit. Always inform, about any change in plans to the other person. Never buy movie tickets, in advance. Never make any changes, in the plan. Click the audio icons, to listen to the options again. Right. It's really important to inform about any change in the plan. I agree. Good job. Sunny has successfully identified the correct... Congratulations. You helped Sunny solve the problem in the given situation effectively by applying critical thinking skills. Now try applying your skills in another situation. Help Tina solve the problem effectively. Tina has been asked to give a presentation at work on a subject that she has no idea about. She has two days to make the presentation, but she is not sure how to go about it. It is very important for her to prepare a good presentation to make a lasting impression on her supervisor and team members. What should Tina do to solve the problem? Help Tina decide the best way to move forward in the given situation. Select the correct option, and click Submit. I should forget about the presentation, and work on something else. I should ask for advice from my colleagues, to prepare the presentation. I should not worry, and make the presentation with whatever I know. Click each audio icon to listen to Tina's thoughts again. Tina, decides to meet her colleague, Sia, and asks her for help. Hi Sia. I really need your help. Sure. What's the matter? I have a presentation to make in two days. But I have no idea about the topic. Is it related to the training we received last week? Yes. Unfortunately, I missed the training as I had client meetings to attend to. Oh. I believe you know the trainer personally. Can you arrange a meeting for me with him? I will learn something about the subject. Well, he is very busy. I can try, but it will be a brief session. That's fine. It will really help if he could spare a little time and just give me an overview of the topic. Okay, I will try. But I believe there is also a video recording of the training session. Do you know about it? It may really help you. Oh, okay. Yes, you are right. The video recording of the training would definitely help a lot. I will get to know about everything that was covered during the training by looking at the video. What should Tina do? Help Tina, identify the most appropriate solution by analyzing the given information and facts. Select the correct option, and click Submit. Attend a short session, with the trainer. Watch the video recording, of the training. Ask her boss, to assign the presentation to someone else. Click the audio icons, to listen to the options again. I think watching the training video is the best solution to my problem. I will be able to make the presentation easily if I know everything that was covered during the training session. True. The training was very detailed and informative. It will really help you a lot in making the presentation. 
You will be able to cover all the important concepts that were taught during the training. Yes, I think so too. I am glad the training was recorded. Most appropriate solution, look at the video recording of the training. Now, evaluate whether the result of the analysis will help Tina solve the problem effectively. Select the correct option and click Submit. It will help her to prepare the presentation within the given time. It will enable her to ask for some more time from her boss to prepare the presentation. It will help her understand the importance of trainings. Click the audio icons to listen to the options again. I am sure I will gain enough knowledge about the subject from the training video, and complete the presentation on time. Yes, indeed. I don't think there is a better way for you to prepare the presentation other than looking at the video recording of the training. Thanks for your help, Sia. I really appreciate the way you have helped me in solving my problem. You are most welcome, Tina. I am glad I could help you. Now. Identify the corrective measures that Tina must take to avoid such problems in future. Select the correct option and click Submit. I should try to attend all the trainings in future. I should never accept a task without prior knowledge of the subject. I should always ask for more time to complete any task. Click each audio icon to listen to Tina's thoughts again. Congratulations. You helped Tina solve the problem in the given situation effectively by applying critical thinking skills. 